Savage Kitchen. Today we are going to be making a beverage dispenser out of a watermelon. Now I saw a video, I think Food Network posted it, uh, that inspired this and I thought that is such a cool party idea. But I also thought does that actually work? Like is this a real thing? Can we really do this? Because if so, it's a very, very uh, fun summer way to serve drinks. Tools you're gonna need. First, get yourself a watermelon. Then you're going to need either an immersion blender or a, I saw them do this with a power drill that had a, a beater attachment, like a, from a mixer attached to the power drill. Um, you're gonna need a blender and this is only for the beverage that we're gonna make after this. We're gonna blend the watermelon up and filter out the juice. Then you're gonna need a spigot or a tap and an apple core. Now I bought a kit online that actually is made specifically for this. However, the parts in this kit are just an apple core or a spigot. What's nice about the kit is that you know that the apple core and the spigot that they give you match in size. For example, the one that I have is too small. So if we were to use literally this spigot, uh, we would have a leaking mess. So if you're gonna buy them on your own, instead of buying a kit, just make sure that the stem on this tap is the uh, same diameter or circumference as your apple core. Next thing to consider is your selection of watermelon. Now, you want your watermelon to be dark green in color, but you also want some point on the watermelon to have a yellow discoloration. This one actually doesn't really have a yellow spot anywhere on it, but it's gonna be fine because we're using this for a dispenser. I really did choose this one for shape and size. The reason you want to have um, a little yellow spot on your watermelon is because that lets you know that the watermelon is at its optimal sweetness. All of the sugars have filtered through the melon and are settling into one place. That means the melon is really ripe, really sweet, and ready to enjoy. Step one is going to be slicing off a section of the bottom of your watermelon to have a stable surface to work with. I already did that here. Made a mistake already. I cut a little bit too close to the flesh. So that means that this, if left out all day or if while scooping out the middle, I might get a leak here. So that don't be as um, ambitious as I was and cut too far. Next thing you're gonna need is some sort of pedestal or raised, uh, raised platform to set our, our watermelon keg on once we're done because we're gonna need room under here for a glass. You could also set it at the edge of whatever table you're serving from, but that also seems like ripe for disaster. Like somebody could knock that over and then all of a sudden you have a Gallagher situation on your hands. All right, let's cut into some watermelon. I feel like there are a couple different ways to approach this. Like we could do this jack-o'-lantern style where like we cut in and then pull off the top. Or I feel like we could just give this like a, a haircut and lift the lid off that way. Either way, I feel like this knife might be a little aggressive for this. We're just gonna take a few inches off the top. There-ish, there. Are you sure that's enough? I feel like that's what I took from here and that was barely enough. You're lying. All right, let's go. All right, you might've been right. Don't get used to it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, it's perfect. <laughs> Silence! Now comes the fun part. Um, <laughs> it was unclear in the videos I saw if you should do like pre-slices. Normally when I am scooping out a watermelon, I actually go in with a knife first and just sort of pre-slice and then scooping becomes very, very easy. But I feel like we're just gonna go in with power tools. Yes. All right, we'll scoop a little out first. <laughs> Jesus. By the way, this is a seedless watermelon. So what are the little black things on there? Seeds. Oh. <laughs> it was a lie. These are it said seedless. <laughs> That's definitely a seed. <laughs> Sprouts lied to me. <laughs> There's seeds all over this thing. 
Now I'm going to use power tools. That is deeply satisfying. <laughs> Not terribly effective, though. I mean, all this is doing is kind of liquefying. You know, I'm not OCD, but the mess of this, a little. Okay. Wow, this is gonna be a lot of juice. We're not even, uh, I'd say we're about halfway volume-wise. That is a lot, it's a lot of juice. I do think this, the scoop method might actually, like this is fun and satisfying, but I think just scooping out the flesh with a spoon would be far more effective. <laughs> All right, I've had it, we're using a spoon. You know, this is the problem with like little one minute videos that are like, just do this, it's so easy. No, it's not that easy. It actually takes some effort. <laughs> Side of our watermelon is now hollow. The trick is going to be making sure that the wall is thin enough for the tap to reach all the way through and low enough for gravity to work so that you have liquid flowing out of your watermelon and not just a bunch of your beverage stuck below the tap. This yielded a ton of flesh, a ton of juice. We're going to be drinking watermelon everything from now on. <laughs> Um, and the stickiness of it all is making me crazy. So let me clean this up a little bit. Let's get into this magic party tool, watermelon tapping kit. They also make a pumpkin tapping kit, which I'm imagining is exactly the same thing in a different box. So it comes with the tap, which that seems aggressive comes with the corer, the apple corer. And then this looks like the, what would you call this, a flange? Uh, the inside part of the tap. And so this is what's gonna um, attach on the inside, right? No, that doesn't make sense. Hold on, let's figure this out. Came with instructions, but why would we read those? <laughs> seems superfluous. This is going to go on the outside. This is going to go on the inside, right? So this attaches this and then this goes through the watermelon and then, right? Again, this does seem a little aggressive for this little melon, like, but okay. But the, this is, I don't know, what is that? Like inch and a quarter, inch and a half. It, it should reach through our watermelon, no problem. Let's choose our spot for the tap. Um, Cause I would like something that's relatively flat. This seems to be our flattest surface. Twist? Allow the teeth to be the cutting surface. Let the teeth sink in, really? I feel like it's just sliding around. I mean, honest, look at this. I'm making a mess. Are these sharp? Oh, these are definitely sharp. Well, let's give this another try. I swear to God, I'm not this weak. Let's try, let's try our OXO apple core to see if that makes a difference. crushing this watermelon. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Just the instructions. Uh, set to twist. 
I did, you saw. <laughs> I got it started, you're welcome. Very strong. I just feel deflated now. <laughs> this looks very, this looks just like a sad, shocked watermelon at this point. <laughs> okay, let's add the tap. Okay, that seems nice and flat. So we've added the tap in. We're just gonna take the nut. Seems pretty solid. I mean, I could just keep going forever and it will just keep cutting into the flesh. So I'm just getting it to a point where nothing is loose. That seems pretty solid. Okay, let's make a drink for this. And now we're gonna strain this out to filter out all of the seeds from this seedless watermelon. For today's purposes, since we're testing the functionality of this, I'm just gonna mix equal parts watermelon and soda water. However, if you are making a cocktail, mix this in a, a pitcher, a bowl, a glass, something else first, so that you can taste and adjust as you go. You're basically making punch here, so you wanna make sure it tastes good before you put it in your dispenser. Okay. We're gonna make this look prettier, but for the moments, let's just see if it works. So first step, adding our watermelon juice. It smells so good. And we're just gonna mix in a little Pellegrino soda water, tonic water if you like it. I personally hate tonic water. Um, so you'll never see me use that on the channel. The important thing here is I just, I wanna make sure that that tap is covered with liquid. And it is, it was actually covered already by the watermelon juice. Let's just go whole bottle of Pellegrino. Perfect. And then we're gonna put our little cap back on. Is that about where he was? Yep, to keep this in place, a couple of toothpicks. If I were feeling really Debbie domestic, what I would do is um, I would actually use long toothpicks, take a piece of paper, tape it to each side of this, and put the name of the cocktail on top of this, like a little banner. Isn't that just too adorable for words? All right, time for the acid test. Let's see if this actually dispenses a beverage. That's really satisfying. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it was worth it. Well, let's see, let's taste. Oh my God. It doesn't look like it's leaking anywhere. Like this is, this is dry. Oh my God. It actually works. Who knew? Okay, well, watermelon, dispenser, watermelon keg. It is a lot of effort. I do feel like the reward is high. It's super fun. Like I suggested, you could decorate this. You could have a lot of fun with it. You can get real fancy and like carve your watermelon rind, but it's a pain in the ass and it's sticky and it's messy. So be warned. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments uh, and let me know if you try this. Cheers friends.